We've seen these videos from the past few days of houses collapsing and then falling into the water along the Outer Banks. But Hurricanes Imelda and Umberto were hundreds of miles off the coast, so how can they still cause multiple structures to crash into the ocean? CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing is here breaking it down for us. Rach. Yeah. yeah, so guys, it is all about the waves. So powerful hurricanes generate large damaging waves. And remember, Umberto at one point was a category five hurricane. That means these dangerous water conditions will just continue to get worse. Now, as Imelda eventually formed and started strengthening, that added rough waters into the ocean. Yes, albeit hundreds of miles away from our coast. But remember, waves travel. While we didn't get the largest of the waves, they still traveled toward our coastline, impacting vulnerable areas like the Outer Banks. Now, the houses that fell yesterday in Buxton were only about 300 or so feet from the ocean. So while normal waves will still cause beach erosion, large damaging waves from multiple hurricanes can not only cause beach erosion and storm surge, but it, it can take the sand right out from under these homes a lot more easily. Now, according to data from Climate Central, by 2050, so 25 years from now, a coastal flood of just under three feet is expected every year for Dare County, North Carolina, putting at least 3,000 homes at risk. That is according to their data. Now, it is important to note that this roughly three foot flood per year does not include the flooding or coastal impacts due to hurricanes or strong coastal storms. So if more typical coastal flooding is expected, which includes high tide flooding, plus impacts from more hurricanes or coastal storms, that means more coastal properties could be at risk in the years and decades ahead. Now, according to the K Cape Hatteras National Seashore, 18 structures have collapsed into the ocean since 2020, which includes six from last year and the six from yesterday alone. The collapsing of these structures, which many of which are homes, can make beaches unsafe for both residents and visitors. Plus, it disrupts the habitats of local wildlife. Now, there has been a lot of work done and a lot of discussion about how to prevent these homes from collapsing, and as well as how to protect our coastlines. I put a lot of links to different resources in this story on CBS17.com because we want you to read up on, again, CBS17.com for that story.